I've been getting some requests for how to install multi-ROM on the OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3T. But before we can do that, we first need to disable force encryption on the device. Now in order to disable force encryption, you're going to need to have the bootloader unlocked and you're going to need to have TWRP installed. So if you're not sure of how to do that or how to do any of the upcoming steps, then check the description below this video as I'll have a link to the full tutorial that will link to guides for all of that. So once you have all of that done, just to give you a, just to show you, when you go into the settings and security section of your OnePlus 3 or OnePlus 3T, you should see an option down here in the encryption section for encrypt phone. Now if your phone is not encrypted, you will not see that text right there that says encrypted. And whenever you tap this encrypt phone option, a new screen will appear and it will walk you through on how to encrypt your device. This is set as encrypted by default. And even if you go through the first few steps of actually disabling the force encryption, it will automatically encrypt the, the phone on boot up unless you go through some additional steps which is what I'm going to walk you through today. So once you have the bootloader unlocked and TWRP installed, you're also going to need to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on your computer. And you're going to need to download a specific version of SuperSU, which will be linked in the full tutorial because we need to install the full system root method and SuperSU has transitioned to system list. So if you install the system list version, it will enable encryption whenever you boot back up. So we need to download the SuperSU version 2.76, which again will be linked in the description below. So once you have SuperSU version 2.76 downloaded on your computer, go ahead and double click on the minimal ADB and Fastboot tools shortcut that it created on the desktop whenever you installed it. And then type the command ADB space devices and press enter on the keyboard. That will go ahead and start the ADB service. And then we can connect the OnePlus 3 or OnePlus 3T to the computer with a USB cable. And then once that's done, you're going to want to boot into fast boot mode, which is also known as recovery mode which again will be just linked and talked about in the full tutorial for those who do not know how. So now that we have the phone in bootloader mode, which is also known as fast boot mode, we have it connected to the computer with the USB cable. And we're going to start the ADB service. Once that's done, we're going to type out the command fast boot space format space user data. Once that's done, just go ahead and press the enter button on the keyboard. Now this is going to erase all of the data you have on your device. 
and this is required because we because it's encrypted right now so we need to format it so that it is gone to unencrypted and it's not encrypted again until we boot back up but we're not going to boot up right now after the user data partition has been formatted we're going to press the volume down button a couple of times until recovery mode shows up then we're going to press the power button to boot into recovery mode now since we have TWRP installed as our custom recovery it's just going to boot us over into TWRP since we have wiped our user data permit uh, partition it's going to bring up this keep system read only pop up again so we just want to swipe the white arrows to the right and now we're at the TWRP main menu so we're going to go back to the computer as I told you we need to have version 2.76 of SuperSU we're just going to copy that going to go over to our one plus three for some reason it's labeled one plus three T see so we're just going to go into the internal storage and go ahead and create a new folder for download we're going to go in there and paste that SuperSU file in there. And now we're going to turn our attention back to the OnePlus 3. We need to tap on install. And if you need to, you can find the download folder that we have by going in the root directory and then going into SD card you see we have the TWRP and download folder there we just tap on the download folder there's our version of SuperSU go ahead and tap it swipe the right arrows to the right and now we'll start the installation of SuperSU and once that's done just go ahead and tap on the reboot system button and that's going to boot up our OnePlus 3 just like normal after we root our one plus three we're gonna go through two boot cycles naturally since we just did a reset this boot cycle will take a little more time than normal because Android has to set a whole bunch of stuff up I'm just going to skip on through this setup.
So once we are back into Android, we can go in the settings. Scroll all the way down to security. Scroll down. And as I showed you before, since it, it does not have the word encrypted under the encrypt phone option, then that means the phone is not encrypted. And you can test this by tapping on the encrypt phone option, and then you get a way to encrypt your device. But if you're wanting to install multi-ROM or if you just want to have your device not encrypted, then you can just leave this as is. So that's how to disable force encryption on both the OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3T.